Ladies and gentlemen, on the line, you can find them on YouTube at Incredible Javier. I have cricket. So let's uh, let's take it all the way back, man. I know a little bit about your story, but I want to share it with my audience. And I definitely encourage everybody out there to subscribe to Incredible Javier on YouTube. Uh, let's go back to the beginning, man. Um, where'd you grow up? Well, I grew up in uh, El Monte, California. Um, I was uh, raised by my, my mother and father. Um, they were, you know, gang members. So multi-generational gang member. My mom's parents were gang members. So that's, you know, growing up, that's what I seen. That's what I wanted to be. You know what I mean? Like, it, it wasn't like, it, a lot of people might seem like it was forced, but not at the time. Like, that's what I really thought I wanted to be. Yeah. Your parents are everything to you. So it's like, okay, shit, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. And they would even tell me like, nah, me go to school and do this and do that. Right. But it, it's like, it's kind of difficult when, when people say one thing, but they don't show you that direction. It's not an excuse. You know what I mean? But, but that's, it, it's a little bit more difficult to do that. So for me, it was hard to see outside of my reality. So for me, it's like it was way easier to go to the joint uh, in my mind back then than to go to to go to college. It's a lot easier when you're when you're busted. Of course, there's there's shit that's gonna come up. You know what I mean? And I've never been to the joint or anything like that. You know what I mean? I just went to the youth authority and shit. But fucking, um, but yeah, it's a it's a lot easier in there because you basically, especially in YA, you ran your own program. I got to do whatever I wanted to do. If I don't want to do something, say, tell the staff, fuck you, I refuse, I ain't doing shit. And they still got to feed me. You know what I mean? So, like, I still got to eat and fuck it up. But out here, now, nah, you don't want to get up and go to work, you ain't getting paid for that day. Or if you are, you're lucky, you're really cool. But you can only do that so much. You know what I mean? There's, there's, there's a lot of things that, that you need to do out here. People depend on you, that's even worse. Because yeah. your actions could fucking really fall back on them. Man. Now, for everyone outside of California, explain what CIA CYA is. So CYA is the California Youth Authority. It's basically like uh, uh, if you did if you had over eighteen months, they could uh, they can't keep you in a county facility. A lot of times, also uh, if you're busted for something like pretty bad, like murder, rape, uh, carjacking, they're not going to keep you in a juvenile county facility. They're going to send you to a state-run program. So it's kind of like the equivalent to a, a prison for juvenile. It was called the California Youth Authority. And the California Youth Authority had a number of different institutions, and it had some of the worst, you know, worst youth, youth offenders in, in California. And uh, yeah, they put us all together. <laughs> mm. <laughs> they put us all together, and it was a, a recipe for disaster. And um, yeah, by the time I left, there was a 90% recidivism rate. That I meant nine out of 10 people, they, they, got out, they got out of there, went right back. Damn. If not there, they went to prison. Jesus Christ. Now, I'm assuming you were an active gang member uh, entering C, uh, CYA? Yes, yeah. Uh, I actually got busted for a gang in hand. So, yeah, they, 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 that's, that's what actually got me sent to the authority. I uh, did a few robberies, which was, like, nothing major, uh, dissuading a witness, which that alone could have got me sent to the authority. But what sealed the deal was the uh, uh, gang enhancement. They said I did it for the benefit of a criminal street gang mm. within a thousand feet of a school area. And yeah, that was it. You know? Yeah, yeah that was yeah. What, what year are, yeah. are we talking? Uh, 1999. Yeah, oh yeah, they were locking motherfuckers up for attacking yeah. all kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they uh, uh, when I went to court, I, I thought like, uh, I never been to camp. Like most of my homies have been to youth camps and probation, probation camps, placements, all that shit, right? So I'm thinking like, hell yeah, I'm, I'm, that's where I'm going. I'm gonna go to camp. So I thought I was gonna get a, a year and a half uh, violent offender program. Um, and when I went to court, they told me to take a plea bargain two years in YA. I should have took that shit low key. But my pops was like, nah, nah, you don't need to take that shit. That boy ain't going to show up. You're going to beat this shit. You'll probably do a violation and go to camp and you'll be straight. So I was like, all right, fuck it. And nah, I don't know. That motherfucker showed up. <laughs> <laughs> like, Damn. He a, yeah, he showed up and he brought a friend too. Motherfucker I never seen in my life. Like, damn. So yeah, so it was, it was a trip. You know what I mean? They had, they had all kinds of evidence against me. And, and that's one thing that, that a lot of motherfuckers need to understand is uh, uh if you have if you're doing illegal shit keep the camera away you know what i mean because uh yeah I, I would have fucking uh like pictures in my drawer uh me me and the homies and shit and uh the, my po would come and just snatch my shit up mm. and like fucking any like if i'd write on like if i was going to school or write on the binder or whatever emf uh fucking like they would snatch that shit up too hats that i had and when I went to court, all that shit was submitted as evidence. Damn, see? Like, fuck, yeah, yeah. So mm. it was a trip because one thing that the, uh, uh, 
that my uh, my public defender tried to say was like he didn't do this for the, he did this to get out of jail he didn't do it for the benefit of a criminal street gang so he tried to play that card mm -hmm. and the DA was like nah everything he does is for the benefit of a criminal street gang mm, they brought and all that like, shit out yeah yeah and that was it you know they had cops that they interacted with uh, mm. fucking everybody like yeah, I was just like damn like they really trying to fucking do me in mm. And, and let yeah. me let me talk to these kids out there for a quick second because this is back in in whatever 99 um, but I still to this day what he was doing with the pictures and stuff is amplified and these dummies are selling drugs on on their Instagram and they're they're fucking putting guns in it like I'm like why are you putting that online like what the fuck are you doing you know you know the cops are just sitting up with their feet up on their desk and they're just following you from a fake account and they're just collecting all that evidence and one day you're gonna get caught for a crime you're gonna try to say that it wasn't gang related and they're gonna have all these fucking pictures and videos and snapchats and this chat and that chat of you doing dumb gang shit yep, yep. and yeah and to me i wasn't even trying to get caught like that or even put it out there because we we even knew not it's to a different time spot. don't yeah, yeah different don't talk time. to the cops put it in the drawer yeah yeah, yeah, but even then, like, even that wasn't part, that wasn't out of their reach. Yeah. I mean, so, and now, yeah, most people need to, need to chill out. I always tell people, like, I don't recommend or condone committing crimes, but if they do, leave the motherfucking phone at home. Uh, don't even take that shit with you. Come like, on. Like, yeah, because they could track that shit. Oh, they shit, track that right? shit, 100%. All the cell towers and everything, those fake trees that you pass, that's, that they're connected. You go to court, they're connecting all that shit. I wasn't there. Well, your cell phone says you were a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's always better just to avoid that shit entirely. Of that course, means, of course. I told her I loved her. The records. I told her I loved her. But the records started skipping. The records started skipping. And she told me I was tripping. She said she wanted to see the city, but. She don't want to ride the city bus Because she's new to the town I advise, look for truth The ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud Dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring her down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up Finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me he saw it the other day with the baby Ain't life crazy, I think about it once in a while When it's cloudy outside and the sun goes None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah Most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know yeah. Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go. Put your seatbelt on, up in the way we bout to go. We bout to the road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control. control. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul. And so, so, many MCs inspired to be one of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC. Then the law came life, now the dreams deferred. All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur. My ponders, contemplating the worst. Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched. Paying dues upon dues. 
Keep on telling yourself I'm making others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize Man of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah So take me back a little bit, man What, uh, how old were you when you you know, quote unquote, I guess, jumped off the porch. Uh, you know what? It, it, it's kind of it's a trip because I was uh, like when I officially got in, I was fourteen, but like I was always around it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so it's like I always had like my my pops. Uh, he was around. I mean, his homies were around. My pop wanted when my pops wanted to join. That's when I kind of uh, flourished. I went on my own. So I got my own crowd and. Uh, it was it was kind of at first it was it was a trip because uh, like I love my pop right man he rest in peace but fucking um, I didn't want to be in his shadow okay. you know what I mean so it's like he they called him cricket too and I used to hate that they called me little cricket uh. I was like man fuck that I wanted another name but even then homies were like nah Charlotte cool like you got a name already you know what I mean you're you're cool like because everybody else wouldn't my neighborhood's pretty deep so you had to fight for names right okay. so it's like. You can only have so many cats, you know what I mean? Like, like, uh, so only two jokers allowed in, in one game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> two joker minimum. Them, yeah, and if you see another one, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get them up with them when you yeah. see them and shit. So for me, I really didn't have that issue. But there were other homies that like they're fighting for names and shit, and they're trying to come up with new names or, or even trying to establish themselves. They're like, man, you got this shit. We don't even worry about it. You got a name. Like that's your that's your birthright, right? And I was just like, man, I wanted my own shit, but I I, I try to you know make myself a. a a little different from my pop so when i went to ya i was pumped up because my dad never went to ya so i was like yeah i beat him like, like he didn't go to the joy till he's like 25 so i'm like hell yeah i'm, re- I'm 16 i'm really going to go to ya but yeah i started i really started uh uh when my pops went to prison when i was about eight so but was about nine or ten i started blazing it drinking a little bit so by the time i was 11 12 years old i was doing robberies burglaries just whatever we could so that's really when I started like engaging in criminal activity and shit. And then that brought you to YA, which I want to tap into a little bit more. You posted yeah, a video. Yeah. You posted a video called "Hood Hoppers of YA." Can you explain to my audience what a hood hopper is? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So a hood hopper is somebody who they'll start off uh, being from one gang, and next thing you know, they're from another gang entirely. And fucking, it's a trip, you know. Like like you yo. One one thing where before I even got to Y, I experienced that shit. Uh, when I was with uh, some cat I knew from the streets. So when we were busted, you know, when we were on the streets, uh, he was from Jimtown, and I knew him, right? Uh, so fucking, uh, I was chopping it up. We end up going to uh, LP. We're going to court. We're all going to Pomona Court because he, he's from Monte. He grew up in Monte, but somehow he's from Jimtown, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, um, so we're going to Pomona Court. And fucking, I end up being in the room with him. So I'm chopping it up, like, what's up, fool? How you been? And uh, I, I got my homies across the hall. My, my boy, quickly rest in peace, and my homie Turtle across the hall. And um, I'm chopping it up with this one. I told him, how's your homie Sparky doing? He's like, oh, he's doing well, but he kind of looks kind of weird, right? Like, looking at me funny, he's like, what Sparky are you talking about? I said, Sparky, fool from your neighborhood, from fucking Jimtown. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I haven't seen him in a minute, fool. I'm not from Jimtown anymore. I'm like, what's up? Where are you from? He's like, I'm from Maravilla. And I was like, ah, oh, hell nah. You know what I mean? So at that time, it was it was on with Maravilla. So I, I told the homie across the hall, like, hey, fucking keep through shot fool. I'm going to get down with this fool. I'm going to fuck this fool up. He's like, what happened? I said, this is Maravilla. And fucking, uh, and I ended up getting down Marav- with him. Is this when Maravilla, I guess, wasn't um, part of the, the Sodenios, right? Is that why yeah, it's on? Yeah. It's the green light on site type thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So fucking, yeah, I got down with him and, uh, um, yeah, that was the first time I really experienced like fools hood hopping. Cause I, and it was crazy because I knew this cat, I knew this cat from the streets. So it's a trip even more because he's from Monte, but he's from a Whittier gang. 
and then now we're from East LA again. So I, that was that was a trip. Mm. So that you see that right, but when you get to YA, like you'll see people going to lock up, and when they they'll come out from another a whole another barrio. So you'll see foods like they'll have like one neighborhood tattooed on them, and that's, they'll get another neighborhood tattooed uh, uh, over that. You'll even see foods wow. that will be one thing and end up being another. So you'll see cats that were like uh, Crips or Blood end up being Sudanios. Cats that were Sudanios. Yeah. There was this cat from Hochantas. He ended up being from uh, Black Peace Stones. And then you'll, you'll just see a gang of shit like that where, where you'll just see foods hopping. Uh, most of the time, though, you'll see cats stick to like where they're, where they're from. You, you, like if they're Southsiders, they'll be Southsiders. But every once in a while, you will see cats jump that that major jump where they're just going to a whole nother organization and shit. That, that was a trip. But yeah, so, but uh, and everybody always asks me like, what happens to them? Uh, uh, how do people deal with them? And why? It's run your own program, really. You do whatever you want to do. So if you got the heart and you ain't letting nobody fuck with you, they ain't gonna tell you shit. But there was other cats that were straight busters, and, and like, and I mean, like punks. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like straight punks. And fuck it, yeah, they're gonna get they're gonna get rolled on no matter what. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter if they're hood hopping or not, or if they're from, they're solid in the same hood. If they're a punk, they're a punk, and that's all. That's how cats are going to treat them. Travel. Oh, <laughs> yeah. As the time goes by and the earth rotates, we gon' fly high up to outer space. Yeah. And we would never fall down. I'm one with the universe, call me the sound. The bass booming in your speaker with the microphone, I possess it's a heater. You better drop it, let go. You can't touch my beats or my flow. Nigga, Kevin Smith, my name, but not the director, we ain't the same, man. I'm a pimp by nature, inside of me is a god, the creator. Pursuing my dreams, cause anything is possible, you know what I mean I wanna live comfortable, but gotta be clean But working every day from 9 to 5 in my thing I feel like a trap, can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time, overload, I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped, can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time, overload, I'm in trouble one by one we start to subtract them Separate facade from who really bought that action Feel like I'm trapped In the room without a key Full wall surrounding me Stripping my identity Got me in the bubble to observe and deceive Take away my culture and my nationality Talking about double jeopardy and yeah. Double standard to killing my folks Like it don't even matter And when we gather Disgusted by the charades Bullets spray the crowd Target practice in the game No accountability So who bears the blame They want to see us violence And justify the change Back to how it used to be Obey or you get beat It's a different time You fuck with mine You feel this heat Not a threat It's a promise Real shit Got the music as a platform For I awareness I feel like a trap Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble let me out of this box I'm a claustrophobic robot Who knows not what he does Cause they program my thoughts And they tell me support this And hate that person If I don't then I'm crucified And made to be worthless Does a penny with two holes in it Have a purpose When he smiles They don't really know What's under the surface I'm a product of pain Racism and cocaine I never tooted once But it's all of my veins That shit is all of my genes See, it's my destiny This is nothing new kid I'm just an old recipe A boring story That you've heard hundreds of times Blah 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 Wham 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 Hate my life And my parents both suck I'll never be like them Then you grow up, get married, and end up just like them For the most part, it's our fault we're trapped in this bitch Shit, they gave us the blueprint, our dumb asses they I feel listen. like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble Trouble, trouble, trouble Now, what's the relationship like in white and CYA with um, 
with with the blacks uh at first you know it, it, it was it was a, a trip because it depends on where you're at right uh so but it's always a, a power uh struggle and it's crazy because <laughs> there's really nothing even going on in there like for you to really fight over power that's, that's the weird shit so fuck it uh like there's Masu. a little bit of dope moving around but it's not like it's not it's crazy man because you're really fighting over nothing mm. uh so it, it depends on where you're at so when i first got to Hayes, I, when i first got to Dallas, i was in Hayes. Hayes cottage was predominantly uh they, they called them respected black respected black cottage because there was two two different things if you're south side or your feet marasa back then uh if you're uh blood crip bay area you're gonna be respected black uh and if you're not then you're just leva either way a leva or a case you know what i mean like like you ain't shit nobody give a fuck who you are so fucking um yeah so it's just about who who uh so i went to a predominantly uh, respected black and actually even predominantly crip cottage uh in Hayes. and right there you know i had a fight like a motherfucker because like it don't matter my neighborhood is deep in there but it don't matter because they ain't there with me you know what i mean there are other spots so they, they you mean that shit ain't gonna put no fear in nobody's heart so they're just gonna be like what do you, mean? you you think you bad motherfucker let's roll and you're gonna have to get them up and it could be over anything any fucking thing you know you, you fucking change the channel they be like hey homie i was watching that shit and, and it's all about how you talk to somebody right mm-hmm. So, like, let's say if you change the channel, I'll be like, hey, hey, Dusty, hey, check it out, homie. Like, all due respect, I was watching that, G. Like, you mind changing it back? They'll be like, oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah but they ain't yeah. like that, right? Mm-hmm. They ain't like that. They're like, what the fuck you doing? I was watching that. You know what I mean? And it's oh, like, whoa, wow, who the fuck gotcha. you talking to, dog? Yeah, who there's a way to say shit. To, yeah, and no, but they, nobody knows how to say shit in there. They didn't know how to say shit. Like, everybody's kids. Mm-hmm. Everybody thinks that they're bigger than everybody else. So it's 18 and under in Alex, right? Yeah. For the most part. So everybody thinks they're the biggest fucking dog on there. So you're gonna have to like, you're gonna have to fight like a motherfucker. So you, you catch either you're gonna catch it blind, or you're gonna get down right then and there. And the thing about Nellis, what was what, separated from other squads, is Nellis was active. Like that shit stayed fucking cracking. So lockup was packed. So if you get down with somebody in the dorm, it's not like you guys are going to lockup to cool off. Like now nah, you're going back to the dorm. You know what I mean? So it's like if you, if you haven't got if you haven't let it out, you get down with that fool again, and you'll see fools get down like two or three times before they send them to lock up. And the thing that sucks is, is like uh, uh, for the staff is they had to in order for you to go to lock up, they had to let somebody else out, right? So you have cats in there that are fucking in lock up for jumping people, for fucking riots, people who are doing programs. Uh, and they're just like, fuck, who are we gonna let out? Like, we have to let somebody yeah. out of here. <laughs> yeah. So, so it, it depends on like what you do, right? So, there'll be times where like, I think we'll get down like three or four times, and what they would have to do, because you have uh, rooms in the dorm. Like, you have, it's mainly beds, uh, like, it's mainly a dorm, but you have like a few rooms for the food to do, like, they're doing well. The, the, the homies that are programming and shit. What they would have to do is they'd have to drag them out of their room and put them in the dorm. So that's four heads they're taking out of the room and putting in a dorm so that you two motherfuckers could be separated. And at that time, motherfuckers will start speaking up. You know what I mean? Like, hey, I know you guys got problems, but you need, you need to fuck, calm the fuck down because that's just calming me. My That's costing me my shit now. Mm. Like, now I'm out of my room because you motherfuckers don't know how to act. So, yeah, but uh, it, it's like uh, the relationship between it, it was constant, constant struggles, right? Mm-hmm. So I was, when I was in Monroe, it was uh, uh, mainly. Like I said, a, a crib cottage. So they, uh, not everyone, Monroe Hayes. So they had that shit, right? Mm-hmm. And I ended up uh, trying to kick off a few riots, and that shit never cracked. I just ended up jumping fools and just doing doing other stupid shit. And they eventually kicked me out of that cottage, and I ended up going to Monroe, which was uh, like sold up by Pilmarasa. That was their cottage. So it was like night and day. You know what I mean? I was tripping out, like, damn, like, like these motherfuckers got it sold up. So, uh, yeah, and, and there, it's the same thing. Like, you'll see certain certain uh, uh, black homies that, that they would fucking, they wouldn't like the way other uh, black individuals were treated, right? Uh, for example, there was this cat. I'm not, I'm not going to put his name out there because he was, he was like a case and shit. But we'll just say fucking, we'll just call him Jenkins, right? This, this cat Jenkins used to fucking, this fool, he was immature. You got to remember, like, we're kids, right? So he didn't know how to be a hardcore gang member. He was still a little kid. So he acted like a little kid. And it was it was annoying to the homies. So they would jump him. They ended up jumping him and breaking his arm. 
Yeah, so they fucking break his arm, and he's on the top bunk. We're going to showers. And he ends up woofing on one of the homies. And uh, I'm getting out the shower at this time, so I have a towel around me, right? And I see something kind of going down. And why? In Nellis, you can get that one on one, though, with, with other races. Okay. So, uh, yeah, and TS not, but in Nellis, you could. So I see him getting into it with the homie Alfalfa from uh, Southside Kings, uh, Tellera County. And fucking, so I'm. I'm walking by and he jumps off, right? He jumps off to his buddy's bunk to rush the homie and he has a cast on his arm. So he's gonna hit the homie with the cast, which is a no-no, because that's, that's a weapon. So the homies start jumping up. Quack, 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 quack. They start fucking this fool up. I'm looking like, like, do they need me? But I'm like, nah, they're cool. They're jumping them, right? It's cool, but uh, he's, he's a case. So a lot of a lot of black homies aren't gonna jump for him anyway. But I guess the homie Tiny Bird from Hoover was like, man, like, you motherfuckers are just doing this too much. Like, he, he couldn't sit around and just watch it anymore. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, so Tiny Bird from Hoover jumps in. And when he jumps in, it's on now. Like, now I have no choice. Like, like now it's like, yeah, yeah, now it's like, uh, I can't just be fucking, uh, oh, it's cool, it's just a four on two. Like, nah, if it's more than one individual uh, from, from the other side that jumps, then it's a riot. Like, you gotta take it that way, right? So fucking, we kick it off, and yeah, like it, it was a trip. Like there were a few, like anywhere you go, though, you'll see a few individuals from the other side. No matter if you're female rasa, respect the black, that are gonna hold their own. Like they don't give a fuck if you're outnumbered. It's like who cares? Like this is this is what it is. Why it is gang banging? Oh, yeah, no, 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 come on. It's just you and me. School is in session, baby, but I don't play. I know you wanted to go to recess, but I take that away. What? Understand I'm the what? man, even if you had a plan. If you make 200000 I'm keeping 100 grand. Wait a minute. Uh, because I'm pimping you, bitch. This is America, so why not get rich? When you're searching for your music, you're playing my station. I'm two steps beyond, maybe that's the fascination. One plus one equals two. I'm talking you and me. You talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling Absolute, we put one in the air and be feeling so cool. Ooh, ooh. I'm a West Coast rapper from the city of the hub. Everywhere I go, I get that California love. Like I'm the plug, they trying to tap into my energy. When I hit the spot, you know I'm coming with that synergy, replenishing like Gatorade. Got they levels up, and now we two steps beyond these flames, kicking up dust, never running from the smoke. We really want the smoke only from Clone God, though. Let's go. One plus one equals two. I'm I'm talking you and me, you talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling absolute. We put one in the air and be feeling so cool. My inner sugar ooh, ooh. Ooh. I'm a Gemini, bitch, so you know what that means. It means that sometime one plus one equals three. I'm a wandering star with two grams up in my cigar and a heart with two scars. So pardon if I snap, girl, I'm sorry. Bitch, pass me the lighter. I'm about to play Street Fighter. Hot dude in that pussy, like my name Kenny Ryu. She says she never kissed a girl. Well, bitch, tonight you experiment. Put this tablet on your tongue and just enjoy the experience one plus one equals two i'm talking you and me you talking me and you when we come together we be feeling absolute we put one in the air and be feeling so cool ooh, ooh. Well, no matter if you're female rasa respect the black that are gonna hold their own like they don't give a fuck if you're outnumbered it's like who cares like this is this is what it is. Why he's gang banging? Damn. Yeah, Man. that's why that, that was Nellis and YTS. It was a lot, a lot different. Uh, YTS is an older cats, so you had cats that had been at the joint already a lot of the time. Well, not a lot of times, but you have cats that you 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 have homies that that will catch a case in YA, go to the joint. And come back, right? Mm-hmm. So they're they're more they 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 have a different style, a different style, the way they handle shit. You have cats that have been busted since they were thirteen, and they're like twenty now. So they already did like seven years, and they they ain't getting out to the twenty five. So fuck it, you have motherfuckers that are just rowdy. Mm-hmm. And right there, and YTS was real fucking racist. That shit was real fucking racist. Yeah. Like he had fools cracking ears like crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So so you know what I mean? But uh. uh it's like whenever over there in YTS, it was no one-on-one. So 
you get down with a homie and you're from a, a, a you're 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 either a wood or, or you're you're black, then you're gonna you're gonna it's gonna crack. Mm. And the same yeah, I mean, same thing. So you have phase ones right there. They're just like fuck that shit. Their whole their whole fucking purpose in that fucking institution to them was to crack it off. That's all they wanted to do. Damn. Yeah. So that I mean, it, it, it really depends. Like there there were spots where I've been I've been to spots where it was real fucking cool. Like nobody's tripping on each other, and I've been to spots where it's real fucking racist. Mm. Where it's like if I like you come outside, if you see anybody Damn. who ain't who who isn't a, a South Sider, you taking flight. Mm. You know what I mean? Like that's the way it goes. And it's because like everybody on that tier, uh, or everybody on that hallway, they they cracked ears. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter who they are. They 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 cracked ears already. And once they crack ears, it's on for life. Damn dog. Uh, BG Knockout did an interview on Vlad TV. I don't mm-hmm. know if you're familiar. Where, yeah. Yeah, where he he said that Mexican gangs snitch on enemy gangs, and that it's okay, and that it's it's something that um is is not frowned upon. And apparently, he got a lot of slack. Um, and the two people I had on my show, the Sudanios, OG Sudanios, they. Well, one was from Maravilla, the other one's a Sereno. Um They weren't really too excited about what he said. I'm curious to know mm-hmm. what your thoughts on that are. Okay, so so my thoughts are, uh, like, this is what, what I think. I think that he probably phrased it incorrectly. I'm not sure, like, because I, I, I was listening to what he said, right? Mm-hmm. And he's like, I don't, uh, I'm not sure if it was him or Dresta that said, I don't know if it's their, if it's, like, their function, if that's the way they do it, but... I've seen it happen, right? Oh, okay. And uh, and so he said something along those lines. I'm not defending him. Like mm-hmm. I think, like you, you really, if you're gonna put say something, you should really watch what you say about a uh, before you generalize or stereotype a whole other race, right? Mm-hmm. And I learned this in YA. Let me let me tell you. Mm-hmm. When I was in YA, they would always say like there was all kinds of stereotypes, right? Mm-hmm. All kinds of like they would say essays can't fight. And I seen some homies that would fucking put them on anybody, right? Mm-hmm. And I would always hear, ah, oh, when riots kick off, the blacks are scared, they run. I see motherfuckers that will crack that shit off. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like anytime you 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 generalize something like that, you're gonna get it wrong. So maybe they did see somebody testify against them. I don't think that there's any gang that would sanction that or that would be okay with that. You know, and anybody who talks to to any kind of law enforcement, that's a that's a no go. You know what I mean? So uh, I I uh, I don't I don't know what his intentions were, but it, it's definitely not a, a good look to generalize uh, an entire population or a group of people. Oh, a colony is coming, but it's from Venus, and if you're still alive, I think you'll see how we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. Why don't you play some? I'm at a crossroads every damn day, looking back in my past when I sleep. But living on the edge, not doing enough. Iniquity down to my feet. What do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come on, son, he can give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a wet straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. So what's love got to do when you win it with my heart on my sleeve, I'm a foe. But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me, and if she starts get told. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight, baby, ignore the rain. And everything gonna be okay. And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline, and I'll be biding my time. Till I can ride the wave. Then everything gonna be okay Yeah What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage Cause what can we do? While Rome is collapsing but not in a day, we'll be okay. Let's hit the off your Jackson. I'll pull up the map then, cause I'm through. Keep
keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know you only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't owe nothing to no one Darling just listen It'll be just like starting over I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay I don't even know why I'm here Wanna be on a beach somewhere Feet kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely My girl is by my side My gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Filling out the window, is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there Bang, bang And I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottom of the night, I get the job done Celebrating life, I've bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce, swing your memory Every time I blaze a tree, voices in my head Keep on urging me, tell them about the story Hey, they came from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Got you moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride and listening to for the night As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay Are you familiar with the Chicago drill scene? Uh, not too familiar. I've I've heard of it. Okay. I remember there was this little uh, white cat that tried to do drill music and shit. Oh, Slim uh, Jesus. Yeah, oh, I yeah, remember that, that shit. Yeah. Slim yeah. Jesus, and then he admitted that all the guns in the in the um video were props. Yeah, they were and, just props. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, perception, man, perception. But uh, rapper recently passed away within the past three or four months by the name of FBG Duck, one okay. of the more popular uh, Chicago drill artists out there drill music is big right now for all my people out there who aren't, are not familiar with it uh the whole brooklyn sound and everything you're hearing right now is coming from drill music uh, pretty much all the shit you're hearing right now is is kind of drill related but um one thing that they do and this is where i want your opinion uh cricket um mm. one thing that is very popular in that culture is the gangs the ones who rap they actually diss the dead homies the the um of, of their opposition so yeah. they'll say you know i'm smoking on such and such whenever they're lighting a blunt or a joint or something they'll say i'm smoking on such and such and it's usually the name of an enemy who yeah. they killed you know what i'm saying and that has seeped out into hip-hop and now apparently it's like people in atlanta do it people in new york like it's just it's 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 the thing now i would yeah. love to know as somebody you know who grew up with hip-hop who, who is influenced by hip-hop who actually does hip-hop what are your thoughts on on that on that, uh, it's it's crazy you bring that up because that's two different things for me. That's YA too. Yeah. And YA, you shoot at somebody is you disrespect their dead. Their like, let's say if you don't like somebody, right? Mm. Uh, so like, uh, well, it's crazy. Like, we'll get into the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say I'll say for example, uh, a chair. Like, let's say the chair is somebody, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like that chair. I'm gonna tell that chair, hey chair, fuck your dead shit, mm -hmm. right? So dead meaning deceased, mm -hmm. shit meaning all of it. So his dead family, his dead fucking friends, his mm. dead homies, fucking all his dead shit, right? So when Cher sees you, it's it's on sight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So fucking yeah, that that shit was happening in YA. Mm. And even if they were to bring up your homie, so let's say Cher has like little Cher tattooed on his chest, rest in peace, little Cher. Mm -hmm. 
and you'd be like, man, fuck little chair, homie. And fuck you, like, like that's on site, right? Mm. And that shit, everybody, everybody who's down with chair, like all of his homies, all, all of his cousins mm. who are there, they're going to have to get down with you yeah. because you disrespected us, right? And that's for life, anyone who comes up. So that's, that's what, like, uh, uh, some cats got in a lot of trouble because they would shoot at somebody. This could be them. So, like, let's say somebody shoots at somebody from uh, 18th Street, right? Mm-hmm. They shoot at 18th Street. Or let's say one an individual from 18th, right? They shoot at him. You're going to have to get down with all his homies. Now, if that fool has family from other neighborhoods there, you're going to have to get down with his family, too, because he shot at his shit, mm-hmm. right? So, But you could shoot at his homies. You could be, ah, F your dead homies or whatever, right? And you're just going to get down with his homies. But if you fucking shoot at his shit, you're going to get down with his family, too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's something that was real common in, in why. And they would bring up names like that. If you had fucking, especially in lockup, in lockup you had a lot of wolf cases. What's they, that? They, all they can, huh? What's a wolf, a wolf case? case? Wolf case is somebody who's just, they just talk. Like wolf, ticket. wolf, wolf tickets. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, they, they're, they're style warriors, right? Like they fucking, they just, they think they're all fucking cool because nobody could touch them yeah. because they're, they're, they're behind the glass. They're not in the dorm. They ain't going to go wild like that on the dorm. Mm-hmm. They're going to do that shit in lockup where where you need a key to get you out. Yeah, it's like, right? a, it's like a dog that barks behind the gate, but when you open the gate, it doesn't bark. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, But they'll go crazy, and they'll fucking start like making up songs and fucking uh, with your homies' names in it, and, and they'll do shit like... Damn. I remember remember that song? Let me tell you, this is like this is no disrespect mm-hmm. to the Pyrus, but I'll give you an example okay. of what they did, mm-hmm. right? So there was this cat. He was a crip. Mm-hmm. And remember that song, uh, Dilemma from Nelly. Okay, yes, yeah, so I did. Yeah, time. yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, that shit was bigger time. And this fool would say, "No matter what, no matter what I do, I always think of Brazy Rue and even OG Pudding too, because I love killing." And then he would say, "You know what I mean?" Damn. So like, yeah, like that fool would sing that shit. I'd be like, "Oh shit!" And if you bob your head to that shit, yeah, oh, like, you're shit. Fucking... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like. And again, no disrespect to the prior rules, yeah, you know, but yeah, that's what course. that's that's what he did. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like that's how foul motherfuckers were. Like he's bringing up their OGs, right? Damn. And he's talking shit. So for me to hear that, it's not surprising because that's something that I grew up around. Mm. Now for hip hop, I think when when it comes to hip hop, you're making money, right? If you're at, if you're at that level, mm-hmm. you're, you're making money, and you're, you, why not do something positive, right? Yeah. Why not try to unite? Like, why? Why? If you're gonna, if you're gonna act like that, keep that shit on the streets. Why you gotta broadcast it, right? If something happened to that cat, he ended up disappearing with somebody. Then they're gonna blame. They're gonna blame you. Not only, mm-hmm. not only the motherfucking, there's homies, the cops. Yeah. Right. So why, why advertise and put yourself out there, like fuck it, and bring all that heat towards you? Like there was one thing I knew as a kid is don't burn the spot. Mm. You know what I mean? And I always knew too. Is another thing. If if somebody's looking for you, you find them, right? Mm-hmm. And you don't let nobody know that you're looking for them, right? So they'll know, they'll know I'm looking for them when I find them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and I just think it's kind of ass backwards to, to do some shit like that because hip hop is supposed to be a way out of that lifestyle. So why are you why are you even doing that? Like if you're gonna be a gangbanger, be a gangbanger. They don't need to broadcast that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On some Takashi Six Nine shit. Yeah, yeah. See, look what happens to this cat. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like this fool went up snitching on all his boys, and then now he's—I don't know. You know what I mean? Like it's like you can't do. I don't know. What, what do you? You choose what you want to do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He could have just been a hip hop star. He could just left that shit alone. But he wanted to be a real gangster. He wanted to. It's like the message has been lost. How much money does a black life cost? Every time we kill another brother, we keep them people employed who profit when we kill another. How can we make a change instead of pointing at others for the blame? Shit, let's put some gasoline on the flame and burn this bitch down if they don't hear what we saying. Better be strapped for the peace. They talking about defunding police. Gun stores sold out for six weeks. I'm smelling something in the air and it reeks. 
Black Lives Matter all the time Not just when one of them kills one of our kind Cause I don't ever see Al Sharpton speaking When Chicago has 30 murders in one week I mean, yeah, we gonna Come on. Hey. Hey. Pay attention, maybe slow down and just listen It's my state of mind, I'm dreaming, I'm on a mission Trying to push the world for peace, no more hate I got my black fist up in the corner to demonstrate Let's get it straight this time Movement is all over the world, energy divine Where were you when the revolution got started? Black people fed up, more than dearly departed We all living on this earth, we human, nobody rally Marching in units in George Floyd, chanting loudly how many brothers have to die? We already realize equality's a lie. I'm trying to get it by enemies that be necessary. Red and blue lights flashing behind me can't be very scary. I see the police before they see me. Get out the car, roll the ground down on your knees. Please. The pigmentation of my skin, this current situation Got me feeling like the revolution's about to begin On the different type of vibes, so many ready for change Fist in the atmosphere, sick and tired of the games Being played by these slain, ain't no fucks given Only justification as I fit the description Trapped in the system, just another digit In a private prison, trying to keep the optimism It's tearing me to the core, how many more we gon' lose? We got the right to live a life without you and me Know what we do, enlighten the youth Feed the knowledge, give them tools Running the race, coming out of my shoe Taking it all the way back to my room it's a different time, we ain't going forward You see this power in numbers, keep on ignoring You see us coming together, together we growing They feel the change that's coming, you better know I'm in here, I'm angry at 31, you angry at 16 How many ever we gonna lose? lost New York Crip rapper Pop Smoke out here in LA. He was out here mm. partying in the Hollywood Hills, you know, $5 million home and, you know, probably thought he was super safe, but for lack of better words, he got caught slipping. Um, my question for you, Cricket, is how do you think rappers with gang ties should move when they're performing state to state, city to city, you know, where, especially in a place like LA where there's gang ties everywhere? Well, you know what? Who who moves pretty well is a uh, uh, somebody like Ice Cube, right? Uh, Ice Cube does what he does and gets the fuck on. I think a lot of cats they need to understand when you're doing a show, this is a job, right? Mm -hmm. So treat it like a job. When you're done, there ain't no need to stick around like that. Like if you're gonna party, you're rich enough to grab a hotel, get some girls, hit the hotel. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to be out on the streets, you're gonna homies, uh, uh, older homies used to tell me. Little homie, you don't need to be out here. Nothing good happens at 2 in the morning. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, these cats, I, I don't know if they weren't raised like that or what, but if they're trying to get money, like, and I don't even know what the situation is with, with that with that individual, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm just saying, like like you said, if, if you're out there partying in someone's hood, man, that, that's a, that's a, uh, that's going to be a trophy, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I, I got homie. I jacked this for, I, I blasted him or whatever, right? Like, fucking... So when you're in the slums and you're in the ghetto, you ain't impressed by somebody's chain. You ain't impressed by the clout they have. You want that shit. Mm. So you're going to, I mean, so yeah. it's like, don't come, don't come over here where we're starving, Damn. lost in your fucking chain. You know what I mean? Mm. If you do that shit, what's going to happen? 
like 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 you ain't gonna come floss on us, homie. That's we're gonna take that shit. And, and um, so I don't know if that's the situation with him, but I just think if you're a hip hop artist and, and you love doing that shit and you're doing that shit to get out, treat it like a job. Do what you gotta do and get the fuck out of there. Because if you're making money like that, you could party anywhere. Why you need a party in the hood? Exactly. Yeah, man. Do your thing. I say, do your thing. You get the fuck on. You just, yeah, keep it pushing. My, um, I want to, sure. I want to um, lay something on you before I give you a chance to promote whatever you have going on, and uh, to promote your channel and anything else. You know, what I'm saying, I What's appreciate it with you. Um, my question for you, man, if you could talk to you, not now at this age, could talk to an eight year old you. Mm -hmm. What would you tell him? I would tell you know my my wife brought this up to me the other day. We, we had a little thing going on, with a quick Q and A, right? And she said that uh, oh yeah, he has a really big heart, right? Mm -hmm. And I've always felt like I've never felt like I did. I always try to hide it, but you know I've always tried to look out for people, right? I always try to do do that kind of, that kind of shit. So I would tell myself at eight years old, look man, you're not a tough guy, right? You have a big heart. Use your heart mm. because there's other ways. My my whole thing was when I was a kid, I wanted to get known. I wanted to be known in the neighborhood. I wanted to be known in Monte. I wanted that sh my my legacy to live past me. Mm. And I could tell myself, you can do that without hitting the streets. You mm. could do that without victimizing people. You could do that without hurting people. Because by the time I realized I was hurting people, it was too late. I, I was already I had already become a, a desensitized to violence. Mm. You know what I mean? So. Fucking, uh, see, so yeah, that's what I would tell myself. Like, mm. you're not a tough guy, dog. Mm. Chill the fuck out. Like, for real. What you need to do is use your heart, use your brain, and find a way to impact life for the better for people out here. Don't, 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 don't keep everybody trapped in this motherfucker. Mm. And that's exactly what you're doing with your channel. I'm peeping your game, dog. You're, you're definitely gonna impact some lives. I, I, I appreciate please, that. Yeah. I please ask you to stay consistent, man. I, I see you doing big things. You tell a great fucking story like i don't even want to talk when you're talking dog i just let you do your thing i like that i i i you tell keep doing your thing release one two three videos a day and just keep pushing it keep pushing it because you're you're changing lives you probably don't even know it but you probably already changed a few lives um i appreciate yeah, that man. tell everybody where they can find your channel man you can find me at incredible javier and uh on youtube at incredible javier you can also follow me on instagram at incredible javier and um, yeah, just to give people a little bit of a game on the channel, what it is, uh, I predominantly deal with uh, youth defenders. So I'll interview people that were in the youth authority mm. or went to prison in their teens, and just to show how life, how that life has impacted them. But I don't try to just interview anyone, right? I want to interview people. I mean, you'll, you'll look at all the, the videos. You'll see there's a, a common theme at the end. They've all been out of prison for at least a year. Mm. They're all working at bettering their life. Because mm. I want to show people, like, yeah, this was a fucked up lifestyle. There was a lot of bad that came with it. But down the line, everybody wanted to correct that shit. So that's what I predominantly deal with. I, I, I've also interviewed a lawyer. I've interviewed a psychologist. Uh, I've interviewed a former staff member, uh, activist, a person who just uh, ran for city council. He unfortunately didn't make it. Uh, just different kind of people, right? Mm -hmm. But um, fitness trainers, uh, fucking yeah. So um, that that's what my channel is. So you can find me on uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube slash Incredible Javier. And uh, yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, that's dope, man. And shout out to your your wife. It sounds like you have a down ride or die chick who stuck with you through thick and thin. Oh yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. She's I mean, she's one of the reasons why. Uh, I kept growing. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to leave the city. Mm -hmm. when, when she told me, we got to get our kids out of here. This, this, this environment is just too much for them. Mm -hmm. Like, for me, I could live comfortably in my neighborhood and just chill, right? Mm -hmm. I'm good. But I don't want my kids to live comfortably there. Yeah. Because if they get too comfortable, then, yeah, you know. You know what happens you know, after that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, dude, it's been a pleasure, homeboy. I, I really hope to have you on uh, again, and, and maybe we can cross-promote and I jump on your show sometime or something like that. Um, I would love to uh, just keep this relationship going and um, keep in touch, man. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Thank you to all, all the listeners. Thank you, Dusty, man. You guys have a good night. Yes, sir. You too, homie. Peace. Peace. You're not even wet. Wet. What's wet? What do you mean, what's wet? You landed in the river, but your clothes are all dry. 
illusion, that's all. Just an illusion. Like that jukebox playing in the corner. That's an illusion, too. <laughs> Who's really ready to get this shit poppin'? Stay the bond in this motherfucker, we not stopping. Lock in the game ahead of our time, but that was 20 years ago, we still killing the rhyme. It's the reunion, unification of the dope singers. I still throw it up and I'm still making the figures. I'm a grown ass man with a lot to live for. Barefoot, walking on the sand and seashore. Chilling, living my life to find a better way. Overlooking the ocean before retirement day. And I'ma get it because I'm different, not like you. Mama mentality told me to do it. I do creativity, I'm a Libra, I balance the scales, giving my gift to the world like show and tell, but don't well, I'm a package and maybe you will buy it, just give it one verse when you listen, I'm trying to make it different, I don't know why I do what I do, I just don't want to be alone, I'm trying to make it Other two eyes cloudy because of all night smoking on some clone guy fire yeah. got me higher than the UFO. Breathe through your nose, hope that smoke relax, exhale slow. Down the rabbit hole we go, never searching for the tricks. Freeze come out that night from what they say and they legit. Experience, seize the moment, opportunist. I make love to the pressure, but I go all in this seems to exist. Don't get me pissed, your host out gets drowned in the abyss. Can't run my wave, I leave you in a brush, do rack list. Swim with the fishes, can't find your body, no reminiscing. Now you're wishing, you never fuck with the birth and never ending. Lesson learned, I'm on your head, lace front perm. Pass through your skin, now you addicted, nigga derm. Never ever cross the line, you will get burned. Just sit back, take notes, and wait till turn. I'm a little bit different I don't know why I do what I do I just don't want to be like you I just don't want to be like you I'm a little bit different Cause the sky ain't always blue And the moon ain't always new when the joint hits my lips, then you know it's lights out I be all in my feels, melting into my couch In another time zone, in somebody else's house In the twilight zone, where the street lights out And the tambourine man tells me about his whole plan Clouds turning into sand, oceans turning into land There's a gun in my hand, and a penny in my pocket And I don't even know if I'ma make it to the rocket Cause they just counted down in the at three now So I'm running through the clouds with my luggage and my bible And a smile on my face cause I'm in another place where the turtle wins the race And he throws it in your face I don't get two fucks about it Yeah, you know I'm about it, about it Shit, subscribe to the newspaper Read all about it Shit, read the whole book Cause the cover's kinda plain I'm a little messed up If you know what I'm, I'm saying I'm a little bit different I don't know why I do what I do I just don't wanna be like you I just don't wanna be like you I'm a little bit different Cause the sky ain't always blue Beginning to colonize. My friends will be arriving very shortly. I think they're going to like it here. Lovely area. So. so remote, so pleasant, so off the beaten track. Just the perfect spot for a colony, don't you think, Mr. Haley?